in today's video we'll be taking a look at the greater phoenix area real estate market snapshot looking back at february 2023 a lot of interesting changes, a lot of crazy shifts. Make sure you stick around to the end for all of this valuable information. Let's lead off with new inventory. Last month, just over 7,100 new listings, as opposed to the month prior, just under 7,300. So really nothing there to be concerned about. Last year, we were right around 8,400 homes. So again, between the last couple of months and going back last 12, really not that much of a change so let's move on to something a little bit more interesting in the world of the phoenix metro real estate market by the way my name is sean rogers the lead of the mr rogers homes real estate team and we make videos all about living in arizona just like this one if you're interested in learning more please click the subscribe button Okay, let's get back to the video at hand. This next bit of Phoenix real estate market information thickens the plot, as they say. Who they are, I'm not sure. But I know who's giving you this information. I am, and I'm sure of it. Active listings. Last month, right around 13,500, as compared to the month prior, right under 14,400. Here's where the plot thickens. Last year, right around 4,700 active listings. So inventory in the Valley of the Sun from last year till now has skyrocketed. However, inventory is moving. And as we go on into this video, you'll see why this is happening. And if you don't see it, please reach out to me. I will make it crystal clear for you. Number of closings. This one gets me excited. Well excited in the realm of Phoenix real estate, that is. 5,400 closings. Yay. As opposed to the month prior, just under 4,100 closings. But what's interesting is we're actually closing or have closed more last month than the month prior last year. And if you're with me, we were right under 7,700 closing. So we're not closing as much as we did last year because there's more inventory. However, we are closing or our closings are up from last month. Typically and traditionally, I put this information towards the end of the video. However, I'm throwing a curveball to make sure you're paying attention. Actually, I just couldn't wait to get it out. Average list price as predicted. It's on the rise. Last month, 528,000 as opposed to the month prior, just under 523,000. Yes, we're down a bit from last year, which was right under 562,000. However, even though inventory is on the rise and interest rates are on the rise, property value is holding its own. And in fact, by the numbers increasing from the last couple of months, still catching last year but what this indicates is it's a great time to be making a move now i know some people might say oh that's what every real estate agent is going to tell you i can't speak for every real estate agent but i can speak for myself i'm doing it right now and professionally i'm telling you if you're considering listing your property it's a great time to find out what the actual and professional value of that property is if that number works let's get your house listed now as for buyers we're seeing continuous new inventory hit the market yet we're seeing properties being closed so they are being added to the market and they are going under contract but because inventory has skyrocketed from last year till now, buyers have a great opportunity to negotiate contracts, be it price and or repairs and or moving in time that is best fit for them. So my point being, as the market levels out, which is a good thing, be it you're ready to buy and or sell, let's find out if the numbers work for you. If they do, let's get moving. Sold to list price ratio. I won't dwell on this one, but I will explain it because I'm asked about it from time to time and it's important I address the questions I'm asked. I like to say, what are the chances? What are the odds? 
as opposed to what are the percentages. But in the end, it's all pretty much the same. When a house is listed, what are the chances percentage that it sells close to the price that was asked by the sellers? As you can see last month, right around 97%. The month prior, right around 97%. Last year, over 100%. So what that tells you is now, when a house is listed, it should get about the asking price. Whereas last year, when inventory was darn near nothing, you as a seller could expect to get the list price and a little bit more. The tides are starting to turn. Sellers may not get exactly what they wanted. And you'll see in the next statistic, how that affects this statistic. Listing success rate. This one can be a bit confusing. Let me explain. 69% of the properties listed last month actually sold. The month prior, 96% did, and last year, 91% did. However, in the last bullet point, I said 97% of sellers obtained what they were asking for, which is true. However, 31% of the houses listed last month were taken off the market. Perhaps said sellers will list at a better time for them. But I wanted to clear the air so you understood that not every house that was listed last month was actually sold. The ones that were did obtain close to what they were asking for. I hope that clears it up. If not, reach out to me. I will absolutely break it down in a different way so everybody understands what we're talking about in this crazy Phoenix Metro real estate market that seems like it's shifting by the hour or day, perhaps week, but it's definitely shifting. This next real estate matter of fact is fascinating to me. It allows me to dial in where the market is heading. Month supply of inventory. As I mentioned in most of my videos pertaining to this subject, a healthy supply of inventory is somewhere between two and four months. Last month, we were at 2.5. The month prior, 3.5, which is telling us that houses are being added to the market. However, they are being sold. Last year, inventory was right around three weeks, actually under three weeks. So there was a lot less inventory last year. Thus, buyers were going crazy trying to obtain a home. Not so good for the buyers. Now, as inventory levels out and is in what I call that healthy range, buyers have time to make their selections and sellers know there's competition out there. So they're really doing the best they can to make their property stand out above the competition. Good for everybody. Last, but certainly not least, days on market. If this doesn't put a spotlight on what's happening in the Phoenix Metro real estate market, I'm not sure what will. 81 days from the moment we put our post in your front yard to the time your house goes under contract. The month prior, 75 days, so we're creeping higher, meaning Properties are staying on the market longer. Last year, 33 days from the moment our sign goes in your front yard to the time we expected it to go under contract. I truly hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you watch this one. Until next time, please take care. God bless America, and I'll talk to you soon.